clearly the the geographical advantage that California has with uh, very mild climate and lots of sunny days makes it a ideal place for uh, solar energy plus the winds that we talked about in some places also makes it ideal for um, wind energy so if you just look at uh, electric power carbon intensity by state uh, in 2017 California has the eighth least carbon incentive sta in intensive state power generation mix in the US most of the states that are less carbon intensive have much smaller populations and rely on hydroelectric and nuclear power what does that mean so California has the advantage of sunny days but there are states which have the advantage of uh, mountain snow melt that can make a good place for hydroelectric or big dams like Hoover Dam and uh, so on okay um, and nuclear power okay uh, nuclear power was considered as an option uh, in California. So after the war, uh, as California began to become richer and population began to grow, and when the digital economy came and the Silicon Valley got uh, so powerful and rich, uh, power uh, uh, was uh, energy was needed, but the choices were not so much driven by climate change mitigation or climate change issues in mind. It was just uh, uh, chosen for uh, meeting the demands of the people and the industries and uh, so on. But nuclear was one of the options that was considered but politically it became uh, very difficult because of the uh, earthquake and safety concerns, uh, waste disposal concerns and so on and so forth. So. Here are states, uh, Wyoming is way up here with uh, 2,000 uh, pounds of CO2 per megawatt hour and then on down. The US is down here at about uh, 1,000 pounds of CO2 per megawatt hour and California is down here. New York and California are two big states so New York is slightly lower. That's impressive because New York actually has large places with uh, huge uh, winter heating issues and summer cooling issues. Uh, Maine is a small state, Oregon, uh, New Hampshire, Idaho, uh, Idaho fairly small state, Washington and Vermont fairly small state. So for a populated state with so much economic activity it's impressive that California is down here at less than 500 pounds of CO2 per uh, megawatt hour in terms of uh, electric power carbon intensity. Again, the caveat always is that uh, not everything is done fully as a life cycle. Okay, nonetheless, um, these are the interconnected solar in California. Through 2016, solar energy grew almost exponentially, and in 2017, capacity reached almost 6,000 megawatts, uh, up from 228 megawatts just 10 years er earlier. Residential rooftops account for most of the capacity. Again, progressive rich people with lots of sunny days make for a good combination of such a growth going from 2007 up here in uh, 2017. So these are cumulative total capacity with uh, commercial, industrial and residential. So utility scale uh, and industrial solar power generation versus just rooftop uh, solar. Uh, okay, good news of course, right? So this is megawatt hours of interconnected cumulative capacity and this is megawatt of uh, interconnected capacity uh, per year. Okay, that's good news of course. So here is Rancho Seco, the decommissioned Rancho Seco nuclear power plant in Sacramento County. It now hosts a solar farm and is under contract to the Golden One Center, home for Sacramento Kings, that is a basketball team. Uh, at full build-out, the facility will provide up to 100 megawatt of solar power, uh, taking advantage of transmission lines and other infrastructure that already exists in place for uh, the nuclear uh, power plant. Okay, decommissioning the nuclear power plant, converting it into solar plant, of course, good news. Uh, again, uh, 
California remains a unique place with many advantages uh, and one of the biggest advantages as an immigrant myself I can say is that it attracts uh, people who are eager to innovate, eager to join companies like Facebook, Google, Apple, Amazon. Amazon is not headquartered there but obviously has a base. Um, and zillion other startups which are already uh, which are always trying to uh, build things that they dream of uh, selling to big companies and making more money okay many success stories exist plus it's also a place for Stanford University uh, UC Berkeley and the UC system which produced this book and this course I'm doing uh, which are the brain power for many of these uh, big ideas as well and for churning out these uh, students which are eager for uh, climate action. For example, people like uh, Vinod Khosla, uh, a venture capitalist who puts up, I don't know, several hundred million dollars for renewable energy innovations like improving efficiency of solar cells. Okay, it California attracts the people who want to these, do these sorts of things. So it's kind of a positive feedback, uh, which just uh, leads it to doing more and more uh, good things for itself. And uh, through California effect, through the California effect, also seems to propagate good ideas into other states across the U.S.